Hello, everybody, and welcome to more Skyrim. I am Gina, aka the Gina Chew. It's time for more adventures and stuff. It's a thing, and it's happening. We're doing Dark Brotherhood stuff because I got sick and tired of my horse dying, and I want Shadowmere. So, you know, I'm just gonna go do some Dark Brotherhood shit. Don't you judge me, Vilkis. Don't you judge me. I can't, I can't take your judgment anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done! Anyway. Um, so we need to speak with Ahmad Montier and see uh, what he wants us to do. I already know what he wants us to do. I'm just saying. We gotta, we gotta talk to him and figure it out. Hi, Yaganel. How are you, my friend? Alright, so he, this little douchebag is up here. That's probably the best way to get there. <sighs> we need some horse magic. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I don't care about your camp. I truly do not. So you guys can go and just deal with it. And shut shut up, you too, man. You know, I often just let, you know, wolves and whatnot just chase me and don't even acknowledge them on stream. But um do that on purpose. I'm very much a kind of I'm not fighting enemies that I don't want to fight in games. Like oh well I mean this is a bear. I mean a bear is different because um, Shelties likes bears and so I must kill them all. So that's okay. um, Also I actually need bear parts for my uh, museum collection. So that is going to be my reason for mercilessly slaughtering uh, this port innocent creature. Uh, he's not innocent at all. I'm joking. Um, I feel like I can barely hear anything. Hold on one second. Sorry, there was something up with my uh, my sound blaster. It's fine. No, sound blaster. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? There was something wrong with with just my sound. I'm good now. I can hear things. And hopefully, so can you. Let me know if the sound sounds off kilter. Like if it's too loud for my voice or whatever. All right, so here we are in Valden Rood, which is the place we are to go for the things. And this is why we are here. Thank you. We also, of course, take all the gold because we gotta get ourselves paid somehow. Although, if you know what quest we're going into, you know that uh, this quest we're about to go to pays very handsomely. Hello, Shelties. I'm sorry the bears are hard to draw. I just killed one, so if that makes you feel any better, it's all good. Bye. Right, I forgot about this. Uh, Headache's journal started. Silenced tongues. Oh yeah, ceremonial weapons. Okay, so this particular quest tends to glitch out a lot. Um, I've done this quest twice. Once just casually playing before I even started streaming, and one as a streamer. And um, both times it has uh, crapped out on me. So I have no doubts that it's going to crap out on me a third time. So that should be fun. Just a fair warning to you. 
Um, let's see. This is Amon Motier. Correct. That is where he is. I might as well go deal with him now for the moment. And then I'll move on to the rest of the fun of this particular place. Ancient great... Ancient or great sort of ice for the collection. Okay, so Moutier is right over here. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Indeed it did. Um, the Night Mother heard your pleas, Moutier. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. Really? I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. He ain't lying. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end. For they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of... The Emperor. <gasps> oh, shit! Ah, uh, leaders rise and fall. Business is business. You're wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars have finally aligned. Oh, you can say that. But I digress. Here, take these to your... superior. Rexus, the items. I like the little clap. Rexus, get your fuck, get the fuck over here. here. Hi. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything okay. that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Okay. So we have this jeweled amulet, which I think I could probably make it do above. I hope so. It's probably going to be a collectible thing. Um, Is there something else you need? Don't get in my face. I'm stealing all of your stuff. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. I will, Fenris. Thank you. Have a wonderful is day. Is there something else you need? Ah, uh, this is where he did the Black Sacrament. Okay, well. So yeah, he wants us to do kill a bunch of other people that's going to eventually lead into the super fun times of murdering the Emperor of fucking Tamriel. Because, you know, that's just, that's just how we roll, apparently. Um... Let's see what we can do about these ceremonial weapons. All right, one's over here, so let's go over here. Come on, focus. Let's kill some things. Let's do this while we're here. This one's obviously quite easy. We're just going to lure them over here. Come on. Come at me, Brosephs. Hey. Come on over. <laughs> the best. Now, I love a challenge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, you're not being any fun. Fine. I'll come fight you. I don't really care either way. I just like watching them get smacked by the door. <laughs> Nice. That was that was beautiful. Hey, baby. Right, what is over here? I don't know. That's the way up. What's over here? Another way up. What 
I want is up over here. So I'm just gonna smack you while you're there. I love that. Doing that is so fucking satisfying. Right, here we go. And these things are probably gonna open as soon as I grab this. Hey, Charge Blast, how are you? Hi, Caleb. You can vent in the private Discord if you like. We can do a little bit of venting here if you want as well as we try to, you know, keep the positivity here on stream. Oh, 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 oh. Take your stupid axe back. Alright, here is the ceremonial sword. It was kind of in here, but then flew all over the place. Um, if the sword is not usually the one that fucks up. There is one, I think it's an axe that hangs above a... Um... It hangs above a, uh... Oh god, yeah. what is the word I'm thinking of? It hangs above, um... A throne? I'm sorry, that's a... I, my brain is awful today. It hangs above a throne, and a lot of the times the game just does not allow you to grab it, and it becomes a real problem real fucking quick. Um... Steps. very close to the part where this thing likes to glitch out and I'm very sad about it because I don't want to hear it is all right so you see the axe is hanging up there I probably am not gonna be able to grab it also this guy can be really difficult to beat so I'm just going to light him on fire with my sword as much as I can nice He's usually such a pain in the ass. Beautiful. All right. Yep. So you can see now, um, the arrow was there. All right. Here's the axe. I p that's the first time it's never glitched out. Um, I would get angry at the game for proving me wrong in this case, but I'm glad that it didn't because I uh, didn't want to deal with that. So thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. 11 out of 10. There's nothing we can really do over here. Get it fucked in. Yeah, I kind of destroyed him, which I, I usually... I have to fight him, like, f I believe the first time, and, um... You could go onto my YouTube channel and watch the playback of it. I don't know what episode of, of a Skyrim playthrough it is, but the last time I played him, he trashed me. I think I had to actually leave and come back later, but uh, I'm fine right now. Watch it. Nah, the glitch is usually, like you saw that it was not hanging on the wall. Like normally, either it's hanging on the wall and you just can't pick it up, or it falls through, or it gets blasted off the wall like that from the Fusro Da, and it falls through the level, and it, it, it's it's terrible. Like it really is just the worst. All right. 
I also hope that I can take these back. We'll see. If I can't take them back, then I have no doubts that I can... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can take them back. I have no doubts that I can replicate them in the... Uh, the museum. And I think this is going to be another... Uh, dragony guy, another uh, dragon priest. Which means I'm going to get another cool cape and another cool mask. I'm all about it. Let's make it happen. 11 out of 10. The Argonian account. Also, I hear a word wall. Hell yeah! Also take that poison. Uh, yes, I remember that part of corpse very well. Oh. Oh, I think we woke up, people! Oh, shit. I don't see you there, buddy. Also, I'd like to let you know, guys know that I changed my name on Twitter. I mean, my, my you know, handle is still the G to Chew, but I changed, like, my name on Twitter. And it's fantastic. It's the most genius JoJo reference ever invented. Okay. Because my life has been completely taken over by JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. There be dragons. Yes, this is a dragon priest. I think, no, I'm sorry. This is a spirit of some kind. This is not a dragon priest. It's a dragon devil. I need healing before I die terribly. Oh, did he just one shot me? Oh, he did. Uh, no, I changed it from Gina Jojo Netty to something else. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I can kill whatever else is in here first. Damn it! I'm just gonna cheat through this because I am not in the mood to care today! Also, it's Skyrim, guys. Like, really. We're just here to chill and have a good time. I could give a fuck. Skyrim is a fantastic game, it's just it does stuff like this where it's like, here, you can you can literally do this quest at level 4, but it's going to involve you walking into a place that's going to give you a story that you need to be level 6 to be. Stop. I don't mind coming back later, but like, I'm already here I don't feel like backtracking. It's really just my laziness more than anything else. Okay. We've got Okeen and Eduj. Those are his special uh, weapons, which I assume are going to go straight into the museum, unless there's really anything crazy. I love Dawnbreaker, though. I don't think I'm going to want to take it. I'll have to put Aegis Bane in there, too. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. That's cool, though. Yes, uh, that's right. If they can do it on AGDQ, I can do it here on the Gina Chu. I rhymed. Also, Nord Excavations, I am not in combat. Wait, really? Who's over here? Oh, is it that, that... No, there's nobody over here. Team, what are you doing? Thank you. Nah, honestly, I just, you know, it's funny to watch me die, like, maybe two or three times. After a while, it just gets ridiculous. 
You know what I mean? Like, after a while, it's, like, no longer enjoyable to watch me. And that's the complete antithesis of what I intend to do here. It's supposed to be enjoyable for you guys to watch me. So, just saying. Ooh, Seth, the Night Falls on Sentinel. I don't think I have that book for my collection for the library. Oh, one-handed increases. I always say for the museum and then people... And I, I think Uncle Chuchu actually called me on it. The other, he was like, why are you saying it's... If you place books at a place where you display them, it's not a library. There's the library in the museum. Okay? For everybody who wants to get cute about it. Now I'm gonna kiss the word wall. Mwah! Noodles, hello! I'm so happy to see you. How are you? Life whisper. Which is perfect because that happened as you got shot in the face by the Strugger. <laughs> Goodbye, Jojo! the rest of my life. It's Caleb's fault. <laughs> Actually, it's Uncle Choo Choo's fault. Truly. Ooh. Oh, there's a- I never noticed there's a chest over here. <gasps> oh, I can't get over there, though. Oh, well. I'm not gonna- I'm sure there's obviously a trick to it, but I can't. I don't want to figure it out. I don't feel like trying to figure it out. A minor maze. It's about Labyrinthian. Oh, it looks like I've already read it. Well, I guess it's going back into the collection. Dragon Priest Dagger. Is that unique? I don't know, but it looks cool, so I'm gonna take it. Worst comes to worst, I'll just put it with my daggers. Okay, usually there's some secret way to get back to where you wanna go. Um, but I don't see anything here, so I guess we're just gonna physically backtrack. Except for, you know, falling down here, which I'm sure is also a... Uh, yeah. Let me fall down here and go to the right. That'll be cool. Uh, I was hoping to get it as I fell. I didn't. That's okay. Oh, that's a scroll of ice storm. I didn't even notice that. I find it funny that this is a scroll of ice storm. I do to this burning corpse, too. That makes me chuckle. It makes me giggle. Go ahead, Mr. Joster. We have not seen that in the show yet, but I will. Okay, so I will tell you. The first time I ever saw anything regarding JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was I came downstairs into into Uncle Choo Choo's room, and I was like, Anthony, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and it was the Darby episode, which we haven't gotten to yet on our JoJo Thursdays, but we gonna get there, and you're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> And we sit down. He's in the middle of doing his thing. I don't want to spoil what it's about to anybody. And we're sitting there. We're watching it. All of a sudden, out of the blue, Darby goes, Go ahead, Mr. Joster. Anthony pauses the video, gets up, walks to the other side of his room, and just stares at the wall. And it's just like, shit. Damn it! <laughs> like he just lost his mind because we were we were like, what just what did we just witness? Literally, what just happened? We had no idea. I don't I don't what happened? Was did we just hear that? You know, and then you get to some of the you know like select your cur and like oh, I, can't, I can't I can't I can't. I can't not. It's just the Darby episode immediately broke me, and I was like, what is this show? Oh, Reno was good too. That was. I didn't know the. I, we saw that episode. I know the Rero joke, but I didn't know, like. I didn't know, like, what exactly it, um. Uh, was in like reference to like I didn't know what the episode was about or why he did that with the cherry but when I saw the episode it was very satisfying I got a kick out of it I 
feel like I want to pay close attention to what's here for some reason. I feel like the little voice in the back of my head is telling me like... Because there's so many new little collectibles and uh... Well, I don't... I don't want to spoil things for anybody who hasn't seen what's about to happen, but we're not going to have access to this particular place for too much longer, so... You know, I'm just looking around. We're hey, back. Astrid! Alright, so... Did you meet Red Dragon? What did he want? Draggers! <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, and I will have you know that one of the... Uh, literally... Okay, so... Last year for Christmas, at our Christmas party for our group of friends, Uncle Choo Choo got a couple of people a bunch of joke b joke gifts. He gave our friend Odell a, you know, a gift bag, and Odell opens up the bag, and all that's in there is a baseball. And he looks at it and just looks up and goes, Oh, that's a baseball! And we... It was, it was over. Life was over at that point. You're joking. What's this? There you go. It's proof. The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. Nope. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. Mm. And that was 200 years ago. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect no, us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. That's but what we now have before us. <laughs> so we'll accept the contract? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Yes, the amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. I love Delvin. He's a fence. A private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Which is interesting because Delvin Mallory is also part of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Um, which is another thing that we can join that I didn't do in my last playthrough that I want to do in this playthrough. Once I learn to sneak better. Because I suck at everything in life. So to Riften we go! Huh? What do you want? All right then. Uh, I don't think you are unique. Um, I'm wondering if I should do the. What can I do for you? You're new. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why won't Helga acknowledge me? Are you a friend of Helga? I'm not a friend. I'm a suitor. If only I could convince her to see me as such. Um. Hmm. Safe travels. I suppose that's a quest I can take on. I don't know. Can I help you? Oh, Working you're also at the new. Fishery is tough. Some coin in my pocket. You are never you done an sure, honest sure. day's work I'm in your life for all that coin you carry. Oh, Brynjolf, I'm sorry. Uh, you caught me at a bad time. I can't do the Thieves Guild right now, but I'll I'm talk to you. I'm sorry, what? Coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it, honestly. I can tell. Actually, I have. 
How could you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. So Maybe you'd like a taste. Um, I to oblivion with all of you. You want to make some coin? Come find me. By us like we're not there, yeah. pretending we don't exist. How dare you? Yeah. So uh, we can listen to Brynjolf's scheme later. That's going to lead us to the thieves' guild quest. No but here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Uh -huh. yeah, now stop talking shit to me. I can't get a good night's rest because I'm I, I'm stressed out. I can't sleep because I'm a werewolf and I don't get a good night's rest. God damn it. I'm just... I mean, I'm not making shit up. That's true. You can't get a restful sleep as a werewolf, but... Oh God, Brynjolf, the man who should have been romanceable. All right, so this is the Ratway, which is like the kind of little under tunnels in Riften. This is where the Thieves Guild hangs out. I'm trying to do a little bit of sneaking to work on my sneak, but we're just gonna. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we huh? were doing this. Oh, oh hi! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I didn't want to hurt you or get in your way. Okay. Let us go. Get over there that way, um, but that will be the way that we go after we go through all this from this point on. Actually, I think I have to I have to drop down there. I think I do. So I don't care about your trap. <coughs> I don't know who's been living over here, but I'm taking their cheese because that's what I do. I'm a cheese thief. Gloves of the Pugilist. I don't know what that is. It seems like it's cool and special, so I'm going to take it. Yes, here we go. Never should have come here. 
Her name is Low Life. Well, hello and goodbye, Low Life. Oh, we have a book here, Beggar, which increases our pickpocket. I'll take some bread from you, why not? And your cheese, obviously, because that's what I do. Let's go talk to Delvin. <laughs> Brynjolf is not romanceable. No, unfortunately not. There are some mods that do it. There's one mod that I've heard is like pretty decent. That's um, they like take his already recorded dialogue and try to splice it up to make Stay it sound or be trouble. Like to to make it sound like you know. You'd better have natural. coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Timely offer. Delvin. A full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece of something to you, it might cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving whilst the, the bitch might catch on to our operation. If you want them, they'll be sashed into the docks in the usual place. I'll uh, look the other way this time. Delvin. Master of sneaking. If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. I you that, that. Oh, I didn't realize you saw me stealing. Whatever. Fine, I'll drop it. Jesus, you guys are so not fun. Okay, there you go. Anyway, oh, Delvin's usually sitting over there, but now he's here. Oh, hey, Delvin! Now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The Ratway, well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Uh, actually, the Dark Brotherhood requires your services. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but... We could discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Ah, uh, what can you tell me about this amulet? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. <laughs> this is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. Mm. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. Alrighty, so like she said, he did offer us a letter of credit. You better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Deal with Stay it. Stay out of trouble. Or this is the ragged fight, by the way. This is that that is the Thieves Guild, that group of motley fox over there. But like I said, we'll we'll run into them more later. Here we go. See, now we have this drawbridge down, and now that can be our quick way to get back into there uh, the next time we need to uh, do some TV Guild stuff. Now I'm gonna go give this back to uh, Astrid.
Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yes, he says, and specially made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Yeah, so basically, the assumption is kind of that Motier is a member of the Elder Council and he gave us his own amulet to try and get the Emperor killed. But yes, here he was. He's a letter Splendid. of credit. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. <laughs> Who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Oh, we will. Now go. And give my best to the bride. Okay. Represent us well, sister. So we are going to go kill Vittoria Vici at her own wedding. And we get a bonus if we do it while she is addressing uh, the people of Skyrim. So that's what we're going to do. Actually, you know what? We're almost at our maximum carry weight, which I didn't even realize. So I'm going to go drop. I don't... There's no enemies. We're in town. Jesus Christ, game. The fuck? Death is highly overrated. Whoa. <laughs> What was that, dude? Okay, I stand corrected. That one time the game was correct. Alright. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Dragonborn Gallery. Drop all this shit off. And I wanna do it now before we get to the wedding because uh things are gonna get crazy. Greetings. Hello, hello. Okay. All supplies sorted, except I want to get my healing potions back. I should just take them back now while I can. Causing all of this weight. My weapons and shit. Right. Alright, so 
Welcome right back. Here. Wonderful. Oh shit. I trust things fare well. I found an odd weapon from a Dunma trader, and it turned out to be something rather impressive. Oh cool. Here, have a look and place it on display if you like. Thank you. What is this? Thorn blade causes five points of extra damage effective against the undead. Thank you. I mean, that is a little more damage, but it's unique and it doesn't light people on fire. It also burns. That also burns for ten points of damage. That does more damage in the end, really. I'm not paying attention. I want to go into my safe house. I want to put stuff in the sorting thing and see if it does what I think it's going to do. showing up. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. Alright. Anyway, I am ready to do this. You can't enter it at all? Why not? Did he give you the access to do so? I'll assume so. So now we're gonna go mess with this wedding. Fine day. It's a beautiful day for a wedding. What a beautiful wedding! I don't know what that means, Sheltz. Is it's throwing you an error? I'm so glad Victoria and Asgard chose like a holy the reception. Land. That no, way, the entire people. city can share in You're their holy You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Victoria nothing. did pretty well for herself marrying that Asgir. Oh, Not a bad-looking fellow at all. Trouble making Stormcloaks refuse to submit to Imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And when the elves marched in, your I love weddings, don't you? Everyone took up arms sure. against them. Wasn't that As long as I stay out of the way, the gods don't seem to care about me being here. I've eaten more in the last. Here. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. You're welcome. It's best you leave me be. I'm just waiting for I just her can't to... wait to be a bride someday. Someday. I still think my boy should have had a traditional wedding outside. Victoria may be pretty, but does she have the right hips for the job? I want grandchildren, and lots of them. 
I just can't wait to be a bride someday. Someday. Okay. So now that they've been sitting here for a while, what they're going to do is they're going to go up there and she's going to address oh, them and the that's when we want to kill it her. It was rather quick actually. The couple seemed more concerned with their reception. So we're going to go in and I'm definitely going to cheat my way through this. Because I don't care. Alright, go ahead. Dum dum diddy diddy dum dum dum. Good friends and neighbors. My husband Ace here and I thank you for coming to our reception. Huh? We thank you for sharing the love. <laughs> well, Lauren. I'll take. Oh, another amulet of the. Oh, perfect. Another amulet of the Elder Council. They must have done that purposely. I'll take your key. Oh, I'll take your skull for my collection, obviously. Um, I'll take all of the wedding stuff. I'll take your wedding band. Um, I'll take your food and drink for good measure. And, uh, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, Bizarra is here to help us. So he's going to try to hold them off, and we're going to try to get back to Sanctuary. And not die. I definitely didn't just kill the bride. Woo! Also, I don't know what. It, maybe that's because of the wedding. I don't know what what <sighs> celebration is going on. But I definitely didn't do anything. Goodbye. I turned into the predator. What? What? What are you even talking? About? All I did was just, like, murder a bride and take all of her shit, like... I mean, I've got her wedding band. I've got the Amulet of the Elder Council, which excites me, because I wanna... They, he, I, I don't believe that that... Uh, there's no reason for her to have an Amulet of the Elder Council. They probably just put that in there, like, the, the museum mod probably put it in there so I could have one. And her wedding stuff will go somewhere in the museum to celebrate my lovely, lovely murder that I committed. Also, I got her skull. Tee. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've yes. started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Cool. So I got some spectral assassin. I believe, I believe, the spectral assassin is Lucien Lachance, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. All right, Gabriella. Nerd root. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that soul gem too.
Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Yes, she did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Beautiful. I understand. Gaius Morrow will die. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Mm, yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. Okay. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. You tried to reinstall the mod? Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sippis. Sure. Alright, so we're gonna find this Gaius Morrow guy. I could steal his, uh... His schedule, but I can follow him just as easily, I believe. I don't think we've been to Dragon Bridge in this playthrough. We've been close to it. I don't know. I mean, you could try a fresh restall of everything, but I, I, don't, I don't know how well that would do a thing for you. Alright, so we're going to go to the Statue to Meridia because that's probably the quickest way to just get to Dragon Bridge. Alright, horsey. That will soon be very, very obsolete. Tried that too. I, I don't know. You can ask a question on on you know on the forums on on the Steam Workshop. And see if you get an answer. See if anybody else has had the same problem. I don't know. I'll be fine. I know you will. All the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Yeah, listen to Fenris, Dad. When the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gothis. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you. If I just take his schedule. What do you need? <gasps> oh, look at all these cards! <gasps> Trust me, we have nothing to say to one of them. You can't take that. This was one. Yeah. Uh, look at all those cards! I need them! Lying there, they're so tempting. All right. <sighs> Let's 
Let's wait a couple of hours and see how far he gets. I seriously have to like follow follow him all right fine of the Emperor was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Not a chance we'd have let that happen here. This is boring. Well, I can't take the schedule. They're gonna punch me and make me pay a gold for it. I could just look at it. I'm fairly certain you wandered into the wrong building, friend. Can I help you? I mean, why not? I could just take it like that. See if that lets me keep track of him. It does not. Oh no, it does. Here he is. He's over here. If I take the schedule, then they're just gonna arrest me and then take it from me. So there's kind of no point. Is he going to Dawnstar? Don't tell me enemies nearby. Fuck a dick, alright? gonna keep fast traveling to places. Hello, oh, man of hugs. What is my language offending you? <laughs> that is most assuredly the first time anyone has complained about my language. Ah, he's going to Windhelm. No, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt you. Listen, I'm the most difficult person to offend you've ever met. I, I really. Oh gosh, where is this guy? Where did he go? He's right here. He's so close. 
Well, even if he does avoid Windhelm, I gotta kill him in a town. So, like, I have to wait for him to get to wherever he's going. You know what I mean? At Riften. Okay, he's here. He's here. You have committed crimes against Sky what? and other people. What say you in your defense? I haven't done anything. A thousand gold. Oh, maybe for that whole killing Vittoria Vici thing. I'm um, here. You can take my smart gold. woman. Now come along with us. Great, which means you took my schedule. Take my advice. Don't. Oh, that doesn't Listen seem to, that to matter. Of a face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Oh, did I? <laughs> well. That old woman who runs the op it. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? All right, here we go, guys. Goodbye, good friend. I don't know what that letter from his father is, but we are to plant letter incriminating guy tomorrow on his body. Bye. Is that a sarcastic greet or an actual greet? They didn't take any of Victoria's stuff, which is hilarious. They didn't take my amulet of the Elder Council. Great. It's just 11 out of 10. I didn't steal it, technically. But I do want to read this letter from his father. I was supposed to be verify, okay. Um, but they did take, um, the plans that I stole. Oh, well. I still don't even know how that happened. S Skyrim is so weird sometimes. Oh my gosh, Elt. I'm so sorry to hear that. Vilkis? Did I lose my companion somehow? Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Guy Smarrow's dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. A lot of his token. Oh yes, a lot of his token's great. It's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. I'm not gonna use uh, the. Well, I sh I, d I don't want to use her. I want to put it in the. I want to put it in the museum, technically. Yeah, a lot of his token. I'll see what happens. Just try to relax, Bizarro. 
Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better. This poor guy. You're back. Good. Thank you, dear. You'll want to hear this. You are most kind. The Jester's Cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Jester's Cut! Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! You're back. Mid. Good. You'll want to hear this. I'm disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead. I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Can I mention something about Cicero? The went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizar, <laughs> tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It, it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. Should I make him my companion, first, Shelties? Find my husband. Make sure he's alright. After the attack, Arnbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Arnbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid. He left the Night Mother here, which is kind of weird. Um, I know there is a way to figure out where he was going. Oh, was that not his room? I guess that was just the room he was keeping the night mother in. Oh. Yes. Cicero's journal is something I definitely want to collect. Take your wine too. So his journals basically just tell the story of how like he was a perfectly normal person, you know, at one time that was just a regular member of the Dark Brotherhood and he slowly kind of descended into madness. And it's really kind of sad. The Night Mother actually quite adores uh, poor sweet Cicero. But, um... You know, but he's just, you know, he's just very enthusiastic about his work. That's all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I would never do that, Shelties. I couldn't bear the pain of you disowning me. Shelties would legit never come to one of my Skyrim streams ever again. Have you found something? Yes, uh, Cicero's journal. Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? Uh, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the pass freeze. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. Yay! Shadow me. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. Damn no Okay. So, I'm pretty sure it'll just give me the passphrase. What is life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. Jester. Okay. 
So, goodbye, Mr. Horse that got killed plenty of times. You are free to go. For this is my new buddy, my new pal, my new friend. Also, I don't know where the fuck... I don't know where... Also, just can we just... Shut up, you're my mother. I don't know where the fuck Vilkus went! I don't know. He's not here with me. That's bad. I hope he didn't die somewhere. I gotta get a new I gotta get a new companion for myself then. Let me see if he somehow got, came back here. It's supposed to let me know when he's dead. I have that as a mod. Oh, I went the wrong way. You can see that water mod you suggested to me is working beautifully, Jelts. Now, walk among the stars! But you were once man. I am as man said. There's Farkas. Kiss. I wouldn't have expected someone. Let's not waste any time. Jesus Christ, dude. Why'd you abandon me, yo? It's not cool. Anyway, thank you. Come to me. I mean, you can't come in here with me anyway, but, you know, I just don't understand why you randomly left. Okay, thank you. Alright. So, this is Dawnstar, but we need to... Um... I think it's like yes. Yeah, it's this way around the water. Wait, I've already been here. I could have just fast traveled here. Why am I this stupid? Like, how am I this dumb? Hey, Should have figured are. Astrid would send you. You heard? Well, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where's Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero. You go home. All right. You convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. It's all good. Is life's greatest illusion. Innocence, my brother. Mysterious 
for the year. All stuff for my little collection. I probably I let him go last time. I'm probably I should probably let him go this time. Got a point. <laughs> Actually, this is not what the Night Mother would want at all. Oh my god, do you guys really want me to kill him? Alright, only because I saved him during our last playthrough and because you guys are having tough days. I'll kill him. Probably start taking stuff that I can build with, like glass. That's probably the other thing I should be doing. Hello. <laughs> oh, did my sword light everything on uh -huh. on fire? Whoopsie. That was not my intention. That was not my intention. You're still alive! the listener's abilities, of course, but could you at least slow down a bit? <sighs> Not what I thought. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. This character doesn't really care too much about it. I'll just kill Cicero because it'll make you guys happy. Doesn't really have any particular adverse effect on the game anyway. Walrus. Walrus! Trail. Oh, I got my 
myself turn around. Alrighty, I shall kill him for you, Shelties, and for you, Caleb. sanctuary with me. I don't know how that happened. I was just, re I just realized that. I'm dumb. I'm really stupid, you guys. I'm like beyond stupid. Okay, I shall, I shall. I'll take that for the collection. That just looks cool. What armor do I have on right now? Just steel armor, that's 52. Oh shit! I look badass! <laughs> There's only one cure for your madness, Cicero. Me. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Very good, very good. <laughs> All right, I'll kill him. <laughs> but killing me would be a mistake. Oh, yes. You would displease our mother. Hmm? <laughs> For she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener. Walk away! Let poor Cicero live! Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. What did Lady Bitty lie? Because I promised. <sighs> Cicero had no <laughs> left. Coming. I feel really bad. All right. I've also indignified him by stripping him naked, so there you go. Let me out here. How do I get up here? 
Are you both happy now? It didn't feel good, but I did it. It's okay. The first the first time I played this game, I killed Cicero too. I don't think it actually does anything. You're less angry. Okay, good. That's all that matters. My other horse has disappeared. Good riddance. Well, if I would have sent him away, I wouldn't have had- you wouldn't have had to hear him anymore either, but... That's fine, I guess. Ambion hey. is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes, Cicero's dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. I didn't get his skull, though, which what. I was kind of hoping Why I would. Why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right, so what's my next There's task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the gourmet? Oh, goody. Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the gourmet. You should report to him. Okay. Ow. Oh god, I can't even... My arms hurt so bad I can't even open my pill thing. Oh, ow. <laughs> uh! I felt bad hearing him die, though. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Hey, Festus. There you are. Oh, Took a sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. I need to kill him and take on his identity, yes. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. That spider's annoying me. Um, do you have an idea how I might find out? Oh, indeed I do. Indeed I do. In my, um, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Oh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Okay. Loose ends and all that. Sure. Next, you'll have to. Are you still paying attention? Yes. Of course, Vestas. Huh. What the hell? As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage. So you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. So there are two ways that we can hide his body. Remember, one is if he's out outside, and one if he's if he's inside. The inside method is a pain in several of my dicks. Recipes, passing them off as his own. Need 
something. Um, it's annoying as fuck, and, and but the, the outside one is very easy, so we're gonna I'm gonna try to catch him outside. How about that? That's what those kinds of medicines tend to do. It's annoying. Well, what am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing the stall. Yes. That's final. You want to give up now? Out of fear? Is that what we're gonna a man do like me makes a lot of enemies. Mama, why are you always trying to cheat. fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... Oh, did you need something? Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama I paid extra for the later. biggest room in the Silver Blood Inn. I need space to stretch the Yes. Arms. The people you don't know stuff. anything about this house? No. Oh, that's a Anyone fun... This actually... Reading, this is a, this is a fun quest, noises. too. I should it's probably do this while I'm at it. It's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen I'm gonna trigger this for now. Leave? Uh, no, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. Do you need any help? I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Yes, let's go inside here. We'll just do this part really quick. And then once I exit, I will go talk to this guy about uh, who the gourmet is. Just so that I have this Fresh quest food. kind of in process. No wood rot on the furniture. So it's been here recently. But the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. Yeah, Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. I'm just gonna take all of the shit. I'm stealing this cheese. Stealing cheese is what I do. Drink and I need cheese. Because of reasons. Ooh, Orcish helmet of extreme destruction. That's extreme. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we're getting to the bottom of this. Sure you are, buddy. Buddy. Sure you are. So this is a special signed copy to my old and dear friend Anton. Mm -hmm. Special little treasure. Ooh. Dwarven armor of eminent restoration. Plain boots of waning shock. Ooh, so many exciting things to carry around. Come out. We know you're here. Some bread. A gourd, a potato. There's another door. See if you can get it open. First, I'm sorry, it's very... Stendar's mercy! This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him! Okay, Mr. Daedra, sir. I will crush him. You first. Come on, let's go. 
Thought I heard something. Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. I'm just looting his body. Nice, we're gonna talk to this guy. This Daedric Prince, and then, uh... I will continue on with the... Yes, further into the bowels. So close, your prize is waiting. This guy. This guy's pretty funny, by the way. Oh, wow, look! It's the maze. It's a rusty maze. Fool. Did you think Molek Bal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak. Um... It's an altar. Yes, it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. Oh, I forgot to also level up. Also, my birthday is coming up, Caleb, so if you do not tell me happy birthday to the ground, I will be very upset with you. Uh, you want revenge on Boethia? Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the Yes, it's a great mace. It's one of my faves. Bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. Captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, now this, the Mesa Moloch Ball is fantastic. It's one of my favorite weapons. I used it for a really, really long time in my previous playthrough, like... Until I just got tired of how much of the screen it, can it took up because it is like a unique um, uh, weapon design. Uh, it's really badass though and actually rather useful in combat. It's a great mace. Um, but I'm probably going to hang it up in my museum, you know, because... Fuck y'all doing? I hear his understone key. You didn't hear this from me. But we've uncovered the plot to kill the Emperor. It gets better. The ringleader. One of the Emperor's own elite gods. Oh my god, I could never imagine! I'm saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. The Sigic I've never seen a Sigic monk in my life! Ooh, shelt! This is why shelt is amazing. Priest? I'm hitting anything. It's closed for a reason. <laughs> Hello, Pupperino. Need something? Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Richman. I'm a Breton too, dude. Um... I know who you are, Hunton, and where you're from. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? Uh, 
The Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. All right. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Of course, Anton. Thank you. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Well, first I'm gonna level up, and then I'm going to beat your ass! Bye, bitch. Now I can take his stuff and dress up like him. I'll take the chef's hat and tunic and leave him naked there just for the lols, really? Have you come to taste my portions and ingredients? You must be one of the new characters. I've run into quite a number of them, I just have not uh, had a chance to really sit down and talk with them. If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. I don't care about your religious oppression. Search for the shrine of Talos east of Candle Crush Rock. I've never gotten that before. <clears throat> Interesting. So he is right here. Quick way to get to him. Quick way to get to him. Speaks quicker than me. Yeah, I'm not sure what could fix that. thing that I would even think of trying would be to just completely uninstall Skyrim and all of its mods and start with a fresh clean install which I think you said you did so Like anything new, Sheldies, that may have caused it to crash? Maybe your save just got corrupted. Unfortunately, with Bethesda games, that's a thing that can happen. Road 
should take me right to him. Inside. That is not good. <sighs> Shit. Alright. Not all is not lost quite yet. Yeah, he's always downstairs when he's in here. There is a place where I can hide his body down there. But it's very difficult to find and I haven't been able to pull it off. What time is it? Oh. It is kind of in the morning. Maybe if I wait, he'll go outside. Yeah? Ever try and play with her shins? Beautiful. I never get past E. I don't know what with her shins is, but that sounds interesting. And you also sound like a custom character. All right. So yeah. So he's standing here by the dock when he's outside, which is the perfect opportunity for us to have a little chit chat with him. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. You've served your last meal. Gourmet. Gourmet? Why, I... Uh... Oh, dear. You're going to kill me now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right there is the gourmet's writ of passage. And now all I have to do is just take his body and just... Plop it on in the water. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Is that going to count as me hiding his body? It should. That's how you're supposed to hide his body. Yep. Beautiful. I should read the bit of passage as well. I also realize I'm not going to get the skull from that first woman because I didn't kill her friend. That's probably a collectible skull too. What everyone else is saying. Need something? True. Sucks. Ah, you must mean my little adventure on the ship. But really, a hawker, some twine, three wood elves, and a hatchet? Points for creativity, if nothing else. So, the prodigal murderer returns. I do indeed. And the gourmet? Dead. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth 
that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. All I wanted to do was start the sanctuary. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's oh, your thank payment. You. And Ooh, Night Weaver's band. a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Which is totally going to go well and not going to be a shit show at all. We're all going to die. <laughs> um... Right now for rings, I'm wearing the Warlock's rings. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. So it's time and for And now, oh. Titus Mead II is as good as dead. It's time to assassinate the Emperor? Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, just oh, you. I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Which poison should I use? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Okay. Until next time, sister. You know, I've never thought about this, but what happens if I drink the Jared root? Oh, it's not a drinkable thing. It's not even an item, is it? Nope. Well, Dagnabby game, you preempted my question. Okay. I so look like I'm the gourmet. Let's fucking do it. Actually, my keep looks stupid with this armor. I need to get some different armor on. I dropped my other one now. Oh well. Yum! Waffles! That sounds delicious! Actually, I'm super hungry. Wait, were you saying something? I don't hear so good. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like a crawling with Imperial Legion. The Emperor's cousin Kip. I'm still in right office. here in solitude. Lazy and useless. Hello. I can't even Stop right this. there. Tower is off limits until further notice. Show sure, she's already passed. What's passage. this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. 
You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Excellent, thank you. Keep on doing your godly duties. He doesn't suspect a thing, you guys. <laughs> so fucking stupid. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. You must understand, for I am the gourmet. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes? Well, I just never expected the gourmet to be a Breton. She says that about it no matter who you are. It seems too obvious. Some of the greatest cooks have been Bretons, and... Silence, I'm ready to prepare the grand feast! Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Why are you not letting me fucking put on... Okay, are you happy now? Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish. The potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Um, I will tell you in just a moment. Hold on one second. I will be right back. Yeah, mm hmm Maybe we should start over, hmm? We want the gourmet's famous potage le magnifique to be perfect, after all. So what is the first special ingredient? Maybe we should start over, hmm? We want the gourmet's famous potage le magnifique to be perfect, after all. So what is the first special ingredient? Maybe we should start over. I'm back and I have our first ingredient. Famous Pretzels! No. To be perfect after all. So what is the first special ingredient? Oh, are you getting mad at me? Because I... Okay, so, you know, I could say carrots, but like, carrots is like... That's fucking boring. She's not gonna believe that. So I'm gonna say a sweet roll. Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. What next? Mmm... Vampire dust! Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? A giant's toe! A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course, I'm sorry. One giant's toe, there. What, uh... What next? Diced horker meat! Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There's one final ingredient. Add this. Oh, 
What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Now, now, Gianna, who's the gourmet here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. I'll take some of your uh, gold while I'm at it. Also, um, I steal cheese, you know, just as the gourmet. This is something that I do. I require cheese on me at all times. Proceed. But aren't you even the least bit nervous after everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. What? Your assassination. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. <laughs> Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you, the gourmet. Ah! The potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. The gourmet! <laughs> this is such an honor. Oh, yes, it's an honor. Oh, how marvelous. It's just first. delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It. I. I think something's wrong. I. I prefer a good. Somebody. Oh, someone's the being attacked! Chef poison the Emperor! Get them! Hey, what? Bye! Bop, 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 bop! I'm gonna save here because we all know what happens here. Oh my god! That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. Oh, there he is. I'm glad he's dead. I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin what? for the Dark Brotherhood, what? just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. What? We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. What? Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her and make sure there's nothing left to bury. You can try, motherfucker! Uh, that's it? That's your best? Yeah. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her What? What say you in your defense? Um Smart woman. I'll pay it all. Now come along with us. 
Oh my god, did I really just pay off my bounty and then I can fucking walk out? Oh my god. Yeah, here's 1500 gold for attempting to kill the Emperor! You hear the news? They just blew up Winterhold. Guess it was just a matter of time. They just didn't blow up Winterhold. Also, those are my mages! Oh. These guys are part of this whole thing, right? I forgot. Ha <laughs> oh, Also... Can I get my regular thing back on? Where is my... What was I wearing? The Egypt Helmet of the Emperor. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh. Dragon, Are you actually shitting me right now? Oh my god, dude, I'm dealing with something else at the moment. I will take that to set up, you know, on a mannequin, though. Like, that's cool. Anyway, you can see here's poor Festus. He doesn't need that gold anymore, it's fine. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, and Shadowmere is doing a ceremonial dance of sadness because everybody is dead. God, my friends, my poor friends! Everything's being destroyed. And that was Arn Bjorn. If you didn't catch on to what they were saying, he is, um, a wolf. A werewolf. Oh, he was wearing an amulet of Mara, huh? Well, I guess you ain't getting married now, motherfucker! So the bits thought with the shield magic. Oh gosh. Gabriella. Not Gabriella. I am to die today. So we Oh hey! The Zier is alive. I love the Zier, by the way, just so we're all aware. That's the end of that. So you are alive. I was starting to wonder. So the Emperor, the Emperor, it was all a trap. Someone set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, 
<laughs> I assumed as much. Don't give me attitudes. Before you ask, no. I don't think it was you. <laughs> well, maybe I did. Saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <laughs> so, thanks. You need to get out of here. Got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <laughs> roasted alive. Come on. Following you, Nazir, babe. Can I marry Nazir? Look he would also be out. excellent husband over here. We are not going to burn to death in our own, own damn sanctuary. Agreed. Listener, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. Heard her. There's got to be <laughs> out of here. She wants me to embrace her. Oh, God. Devil, <laughs> I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now, come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. Yeah. There, can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. No, this you enough. must speak with Astrid here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Uh, I have to speak with Astrid. She's here in the sanctuary. She's Follow here. me. Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go. Also, you can see that Babette also survived. Um, as for how I got here, just to give you a visual, obviously I crashed through this door here and fell into the water and he dragged me out of the water like the poor sap I am. Here, ladies and gentlemen, lies Astrid. <coughs> alive. You're alive. Uh, thanks, Sithis. Astrid. Shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. M Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Wow, Astrid. Oh, this? I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. You sent me to die, traitor! Oh, yes. I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you, the Night Mother, and everything I hold dear. And now, Marrow has betrayed me. Well, you gotta say this one thing about Cicero, he was kind of right. <laughs> to stay the way they were. <clears throat> before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before 
you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong, but you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over, rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. What are you saying? I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Wow. And so we must kill Astrid. <laughs> Thank you. Sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Astrid. Strangely, I feel sands, only I pity for still her. Still can't get around it. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Started Hail Sithis. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. Not exactly. The Night Mother has spoken to me again. What? Well, what did she say? I must speak with Amand Motier at once. Amand Motier? But that would mean... The contract is still on. The true emperor must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Our family lives on, Nazir. You have to trust me. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done... There's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Indeed we could. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet that bet and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. But don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. So very sad. I was gonna say, did I lose the horse?
there he is. <laughs> Shadow Beard. What are you doing up here, dude? This is not a place for you to spawn, kid. Alright, the first thing I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Dragonborn Gallery and dump a bunch of my shit. Hello. Hello. Look at what's still in my inventory. Cicero's clothes are still in the inventory. This is the Dragonborn Hall. I believe. Oculatus stuff on you? So this is like all the Dark Brotherhood stuff there, kind of. I just have way too much fun with this, with this whole gallery. It's way too exciting. to like be different. Right? Male and female mannequins.
see our mail. Okay, there's some female in here. So all the things in here are men. But in those halls, they are men and women. Okay, good night, Caleb. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I love your face. All right. So let us finish this up. Let us talk to Ahmad Mortier and find out uh, where all the stuff is gone and maybe cheat at killing people. Because this guy has a fucking coming, <laughs> obviously. <sighs> this guy's a douchebag. You there? Yes. Let me know if you want what? anything. I think I got a if you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Yeah, so that's like some weird quest. I, I have no interest in picking it up or doing it at all. By the way, the woman they're looking for—that's her right there. Shh, don't tell them. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. Come on. Come on in here. Come on. <coughs> Don't open the door again. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. We have unfinished business out here. By the gods! You... you're alive! But I had heard... your sanctuary! Please! You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead! The true Emperor! I still do! It was Maro! He... The Emperor! The real Emperor! Where is he? You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still... honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Okay. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. He 
he has it with coming. With answers comes knowledge. But with knowledge comes ignorance. He sounds cool. I'm gonna run around Skyrim one day and just talk to all of the new characters. This is fucking cool. Alright, so it is off the shore here, so I'm gonna go to the abandoned shack and fast travel there to the uh, walk there to the ship. Obviously, I'm not going to take my horsey for once. I'm sorry, Shadow you're gonna have to sit this one out, my friend. soldiers, dude. That's that's not cool. You shouldn't kill them. Walk up, move along now. Fine, I'm just all the way to kill the emperor. Screw you. <laughs> you can just hang around here acting all high and mighty. I'm going to go kill your emperor. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to break into your embassy and I'm going to punch all you bitches in the face. This way it's gonna be. Let's get going. Come on. Alright. Now I forget if killing people on the ship gives me a bounty somewhere. I don't think it does. Okay, so this is Kataraya. We need to find a way onto the ship. not something I climb up onto, then it's gotta be, yeah, underneath. Every single person on the ship. I there's so little fox that I give. And I'm gonna take all your food too. What was that? It was me stealing your food. something. You're ready to die today, huh? that I'm just taking all of their food. I don't know what made me decide this, I'm just deciding it. Okay, the dress was empty, there's nothing interesting in here. Is someone there? Dance. 
Motherfucker. <clears throat> that salt pile is all of the salt that I am from that guy, that bastard. Cheese looks like it's mine. Taking your flour, I'm gonna bake my kids a cake with your shit. That's what I'm gonna do. When I when I have when I when I adopt kids, I'm gonna bake them a fucking cake. Whatever his name is. Our songs. Whatever his name is. I'm also continuing to take your cheese. Jackpot. I'm just being stupid. All right. What books did I have? Wolf Queen, Volume Four. Beggar Prince. I thought I read Beggar Prince. Here we go. Who's next in line for a beating? I was already dead, which I find hilarious every time. Give me your cheese. He's the guy that's been banging this whole time. That was annoying. Hey! Huh! 
nothing. Thank you for the key. Steel great sort of souls, sweet. Jack yet. I'm just being dumb and taking like dumb amounts of food. Just because I feel like it. Like I just feel like stealing their food. Alrighty. With that there. key. Be able to open <laughs> Up there, Vilkus. Just let whale on ya. Woo! Potatoes. Right. Ah, found you. <laughs> Tenant, he's done. Disaster! And Ioneth, whatever that is. Real events, I am volume 5. And a lot of books today, kids. Why? Because reading is awesome. Get the rest of these books I have already. Crisis. Obviously, we need a book on that in our collection. Give me all your potatoes. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Hello, hello. You were expecting me? But of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? I'm listening. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I have accepted that fate, but mm -hmm. 
regardless of your path through life. I sense in you a certain ambition. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> An old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Ah. Would you do me this kindness? You want me to kill Motier or with pleasure? Thank I'll consider you. your request. Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose. Hmm? Well, I won't fight you. So we may as well get this over with. You're a brave man, Emperor. Goodbye. That was a little weird, but okay. And so we will take his his stuff and yet another key. Killed the oh here we go. Goldbrand. Forged by the dragons of the north. Goldbrand lends its wheel to the ability to deal fire damage. Ooh. That seems like a unique weapon. It does way more damage than Dawnbreaker does. Is it two-handed? No. It's not. Oh. I feel like Dawnbreaker's gonna get to take a little rest then! Even weighs, oh, weighs a little bit more, but that's fine. 45 damage, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll fucking take it. And I'm gonna take all your books. The Amulet of Kings. Brothers of Darkness. It's all about the Dark Brotherhood. He was reading it. He knew. He knew. The Third Era Timeline. Arturian Heresy. Dream of Solid God. There's lots of books here. We have a Law, Dragon War. All the sea ghosts on oblivion. And I'm going to take a sweet roll. There's oh. more of his robes. A flawless ruby, I'll take that. Sovereign Guard, a re examination. Hard armor of restoration, a hunting bow of ice. Ooh, a card of mystics. Stealing his cheese. <coughs> Glories and laments. Okay, I think we've pretty much picked this place of everything like really interesting. steel more axe. Okay, well. Goodbye, good sir. He was a better man than pretty much any of us deserved. 
And now we're gonna go. Huh? Someone there. Also, this sword is fucking sweet. Motier, your time has well, come. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a Good. clean mug around yes. here somewhere? We are nothing more than near-sighted beasts. I'm still here. Well, you <laughs> gone, then. You're back. I see the second is dead. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Except that I have one more wish to fulfill from a good man. We had a deal. Sorry. Also, he has a ton of awesome things on him, so I've just been stealing them. <laughs> Nothing to see here! Oh, God. Send back into Baldur Rude to get all payment, and it is a pretty sweet payment indeed. It's going to complement our coffers very nicely and allow us to also do something to help rebuild the Dark Brotherhood. How much money do I have? Okay, just curious. Twenty. We fast travel to the Dawnstar Sanctuary, which is our new home for the Dark Brotherhood.
Oh, the Night Mother is kind of just chillaxing over there. Got stuff and things happening. Here's Babette. Well, what word of the Emperor? Titus Mead the second is dead. By my hand. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Okay, so I can lie, but I'm not going to. 20,000 gold. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? Absolutely. You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Yeah, it's gonna cost more than 20,000 gold, but, um, I'm all about that, personally. It is done! Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead. Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Okay. And that is the start of the set of radiant quests where they give us random people to slaughter in the name of the Dark Brotherhood. guy tends to land.
glad when things just don't respond in this game. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, let's talk to Delvin and pay out the ass for everything. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. I don't know if I have enough money to pay for everything. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. Yeah? There's no handouts here. Can you repair and refit the Dawn Star Sanctuary? The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it'll cost you a lot. But I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? So we need five, ten, fifteen. Six, six, all right, so that's actually just a little bit less than what we had. So I'll do banners. Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. All right, what's your fancy? Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station, maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right. Hey, Epicon. Consider it done. How are you? All right. What's your fancy? Uh, my fancy is a torture chamber. Uh -huh. Now that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No, it was it matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. Of course you do. Ah, uh, secret. Yes. Yeah. We can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, then inside. You'll be in or nice. out, quick as a coney. I'm listening. All right, what's your fancy? And the last thing is the master bedroom. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you oh, Hans, thank you so much for the host, room. my Real friend. Nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. Something on your mind. Well, hey, hey there now. That, sound, that sounded a little, uh, you know, suggestive. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go uh, take a look at what the new uh, brother, uh, the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary looks like, because we're probably not gonna go there again anytime soon. And then I'm gonna go back and put all this stuff into the uh, museum and then I think we will be gone. Done for tonight. I forgot I'm still in the ratways. Why did I try to fast travel out of there? Which is a fun time. We're here to teach you a lesson. What? Never should have come here. What? <laughs> Who hired a thug? <laughs> What is this? Oh, a contract. Oh. What, what are these shenanigans? Oh, Iron Warhammer. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I forgot how close I am to. Um, 
I am curious. What is this? Here's the agreed upon amount. I expect you to feel the care of my request to teach you listen to the thief Akantha Tovari. Oh my god, they hired ages because I stole the guy. <laughs> because I stole. Oh my god. That's hilarious. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, alright, so we have this alchemy station up and, and running now. You now we got all this stuff to pull from. We've got, uh... There's a secret entrance. Let's see what else we got going on around here. We got some cool banners. Training area up here. This is, I think, the master bedroom. I think. You know I can still bet. sell you some potions and such, or train you in alchemy. You're adorable. Okay, so we've got some yes, initiates around here now. They know I'm the listener, so they give me the proper respect. I'm gonna take your stuff because I can. <laughs> Worst listener ever. Oh, is this my oh no, this is my room. Fucking cool. We've even got a little mannequin. Yes, listener. How may I serve you? Got to admit, I find the Night Mother's presence comforting. I'm glad you do. All right. Here's the torture chamber, complete with torture victims. Why are you people doing this? And the still dead naked body of Cicero. You know, because why not? So yeah, the Dark Brotherhood is back up and running. Well, congratulations on the affiliate! That's awesome! I don't really stream on YouTube, how do you find it? Like, 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 what do you think of it, is what, is what I meant to say. Um... I already employed his sir. Oh, I think something got stuck there. Alright, well, anyway, I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with that again for the moment. I want to go. Dragonborn Gallery. Listen, we're the Dog Brotherhood, okay? We're not nice people. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the Dark Brotherhood um, thing. I don't. I wonder if we're gonna have a uh, a little setup here to come out. Yeah, we do. Here's the Dark Brotherhood a little commemorative area. This is so cool. We're not really supposed to have this out in the open because nobody's supposed to really know. No, give a fuck. Look, that's so cool. That is awesome. I'm in love with it. All right, now I need to go to the natural science area. Here we go. Nice, Hans. That's awesome. Spriggan Hagrid Goat. There 
we go. We got the horker there. Doesn't he look majestic? Right, now that little part's complete. That's exciting. I thought I had a bear claw and a bear pelt. Oh, I can reach them from here. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, give me... Oh, I don't have a, the bear pelt. I have cave bear pelt. That was my problem last time. Look at that, look at that little dude. This game is fun. This is this is actually a mod that I downloaded. It's it's the most incredible addicting mod I've ever played in my life. It's so good. It's a museum where you can display all of the unique items in the game, and it auto displays huh? them for you. And you can put, d d d collect all the books. And there's a bunch of other mods included in it with a bunch of different unique weapons and items and all this stuff. And it makes me really excited. And I won't cry. I just love collecting and displaying things. It's it's just right, it's like right up my alley. Take all of my books, please. Thank you. And sort them, thank you. Yeah, I can just, just by letters, just here you go. I got a flyers and all kinds of books. Oh, to my little house. Oh, that's the armory. Oh, did I? I thought I had stuff for the armory, actually. Do I have stuff for the display in the armory? Not really. Chest will sort all of the things. Oh, the bow of the hunt is not okay. Oh. Oh no, it's gone. Alright, I'll have to go grab it again. I'm gonna hold on to that amulet of Mara. Um, the fine boots. Ah. It took the robes. I know where it brought the robes to. Um, I don't know where reservation can go. I haven't used a lava's token yet either. Okay. Now, is there my replica workbench? Stone. Any bone meal and an iron ingot? I can do that. I know there's 
a way to get to my stuff from here. Why can't I ever find it? have the replica of the horn of your human collar. So I should be able to place that. <laughs> right, I want to take a look around the museum. I just wish I had a, play a way to get at it from my my house. And there's one other setup here. That must be uh, the Thieves Guild. Cause you got the Mages Guild. That's the Companions. Oh, there's Age of Spain. Oh, there's the, okay, cool. Oh, there's the thorn blade. That's the thing that he found for me last time. There's the blade of woe. Oh, there's, okay, oh, cool, that's so cool. I want to check out that secret place in the Hall of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn Hall. And again, I still don't see any point of this specific, like, I don't know what's going to be here. Or around here. But I know there's going to be some new stuff.
This is the mem commemoration to death at a, death at a wedding. Oh, that's where the skull of Vittorio Vici put. Okay. This is all the Dark Brotherhood stuff. I don't have ancient shrouded armor. There's his robes. This is so cool. Thanks, Hans. I will try to catch some of your streams as well, my friend. Thank you for stopping on by. Is that special amulet? Alrighty. I love this mod so much. I know I keep saying it, but I can't help it. Alrighty. That was gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate you stopping by. I will see you guys tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm very excited to be able to hang with you guys again and treat more, of course. Thanks so, so much for everybody that stopped by tonight. I appreciate it, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have a wonderful evening.